Hold on. Someone looks like they're in their element. Piece of cake. Fields? That's the world I know. <laughs> you sound proud of that. Uh. Stations there. I can see that. Oh? Thought the world you knew didn't include stations. Ha ha. If you would all just please calm down. Hey, what the hell's going on? Out, Come Mom. on, there's no need to shout. Popular place. Yeah, well, it's got a good view of the reactor. <laughs> it's on fire! Ain't a show. They know that. They're worried. Oh, didn't expect to see you here. Huh? Um, yeah. Oh, on your way home from the church? That's right. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Did any debris hit the church? Not debris, no. That's something at least, but you may not be so lucky next time. Hey, you know a way to get topside other than the train? Sorry, can't say I do. <laughs> Figured as much. A goddamn pain in the ass. Another Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me, or you? Don't know. Don't care. Then, let's stick to the back streets? Ah. There will be monsters. Better than Shinra. There's a Shinra dump site up ahead. Not the kind of place anyone would ever choose to hang around in. But a great place to lay low. They've got the run of it. <laughs> Sorry. 
No telling where it will come from. Monsters instinctively target weaker prey. Hmm. You'd better watch out, then, Cloud. <laughs> so long. Huh! Over here. That didn't work. Maybe it's broken? Pretty sure this path we're on loops around too, so... Hmm, wonder if we can move this. figure because they went for the stronger prey Heart of the slums. <laughs> Still a fair ways off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? Nah. Me, I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. Don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Allow me. Get him! And we're safe.
awake. Gonna wish it kept sleeping. <laughs> Best do it right. Okay then. <coughs> so long. <laughs> Not bad. <sighs> Don't think it'll open. What to do? That gate just doesn't want to open, does it? Maybe there's a way to get over it? For you, at least. No good? That sucks. Ah, try moving that container to make a path. to do the trick. Cloud, I knew you'd find a way. Guess we're home free. No need for thanks. I'd rather get paid. Hmm? You're getting paid right now. Hmm? Huh? Oh. To relax a little now. Don't forget about the Turks. Ah. Could come at us any time. Keep an eye out. 
So, do you think this means another war is the coming? The Sector 5 slums are right there. God, I'm so nervous. What are they watching? Hey, hey! My lights have been on the prince ever since that explosion knocked out the... I made a first call to the You heard what they said on TV. Eh? What could they I'm possibly standing inside the gutted shell of Mako Reactor 5. They're working for Wu Tai, isn't it obvious? See, there's still a lot of smoke uh, rising using from the spies rubble. Spies so they don't have to break While the fallen ceasefire. beams and other debris I'm continue to hinder Those rescue efforts, the fires appear to have been war. mostly extinguished. So if we help catch the bombers, we oh, get a reward or something? Uh, that's the director of Shinra's advanced weaponry division, isn't it? Enough of that doom and gloom. Excuse me, ma'am, but would you mind answering a few questions? They're targeting reactors. Can you give us any updates on the status of the reactor? So what kind of damage did it suffer in the explosion? Again. Are we in any danger? Uh, Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Okay, time's up! Alright, let's go. I have to. I'm prepared to fight again. We need to start preparing for the worst. Without the reactors, how are we supposed to live? We need to stand up and fight against anyone who tries to destroy Man, our way of life. Oh, to go what on my timing! Head. Mind lending me a hand? Place is really hopping, huh? Nice side effect of the train really situation. So, what do you say? Building. I'd love to, but... I help out every now and then. It's fun. Aerith! Well, well. What are you doing all the way up there? Was trying to get a look at the reactor. Who's this guy? This is Cloud. He's a mercenary. And currently my bodyguard. That's Oats. See you. Two peas in a pod. What are you guys up to? We all went to see the reactor. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. Well, guess we have a new destination. I should probably explain. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Aerith, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together. Why, hello, Aerith. As popular as ever, I see. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. You've helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? Hmm. Maybe. Since I'm so generous, I gather medicinal herbs for his patients sometimes. Yep. Here's the leaf so house. The 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 nice there you are. We're back, and we brought Aerith with us. Sorry to make you come out here. Don't be. It's on my way home. Well then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. How many? All you can carry. What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will, and I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. Please 
Let's go big and young. So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm? What? Thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> well, anyway. My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. There you go. That's my house. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm home. Hey, baby. Been up to no good? Rude came by. So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. <laughs> or was my job. Yep, thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. <laughs> then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector <clears throat> 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the leaf house. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come <sighs> with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way, do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> uh, <sighs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. <sighs> that Aerith. She's a handful, isn't she? It must be tough. No, never mind. Hmm. Weird. Could have sworn I put them here. Take this one. Huh? Um. Take it. Uh. uh. Hmm. Uh. Right. Off we go. <sighs> 
And these right here are my babies. Hmm. Which ones do you think we should pick? Any of them. Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. That's the one I gave you. Huh, it is? Nice try, mister. You can't fool me. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? Good eye. People used to give these to declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? need to hurry. We're not under the gun or anything. I'm not cut out for this crap. Sure you are. And when you're done, you'll be drowning in job offers. So, how do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? I remember you. Where's Aerith? The Leaf House. Wanna help me out too? What do you say? Exactly! They're what give the local... Ah, just show them. Yeah, the Us folks in the neighborhood watch are talking about countermeasures. The bombers, I you can have count gone me in. Hiding I was in the military. In the the I know a few things. That's wonderful. Let's take down Avalanche together. Those Avalanche guys... Aaron is such a sweetheart. Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. 
I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. You must be busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about my research. Oh, hello. Cloud has been assisting me with my research and development. Ooh, that sounds fun. Count me in. One moment while I run diagnostics. Huh. How very strange. You don't appear to be in my database. And that's bad? There must have been some sort of server error. Oh well, any friend of Cloud's is sure to be of great help. Up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I have the most amazing news! I believe I might know how to develop summoning materia, something heretofore thought impossible. Scientists say that this materia can only be found in nature, but I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat... obtuse. Please let me know when you have made your preparations. I have to tell you that I am grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it! I've developed a new materia! Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. Gotta stay. 
great. I'll show you what I can do. Going all out. You'll see. Okay. Yeah. Can't keep eyes open. Let's do this. Stay back. Do it. I'll show you what I can do. I'm just trying, but I can't. I got this. Break yourself. Here goes. It's your turn. Taking over. Keep it together. I'll take care of them. Outstanding! The Shiva summoning materia is complete. And now it's yours. Use it as you see fit. The Lady of Frost is the perfect companion for a man like you, Cloud. She will prove most useful when the time comes to destroy Shinra. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Hinges on my front. I've got the finest collection of materia you'll find anywhere. I knew you had a keen eye. Where are you? Gramps has been feeling a lot better. Come on. I know this place is off limits to grown ups, but if we want to rescue them. Well, we gotta break the rules. Oats! You're back! Aerith's come to help. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. But there are monsters out there! Don't worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier, so where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. You guys have got to hurry and find our friends, okay? They ran off this way. Be careful. Huh. Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. I just hope you find them in time. That's it! Let's
Let's go. Seriously. Go on. So long. Brace yourself. Get him. So long. That it? Not alone. Kind of in a rush, so. Sorry. See you around. Guess I gotta. Stay back! <laughs> Quickly, we gotta save them. All right. Buzz off. I'll go. Come on. Thank you. That was cool. <laughs> okay, let's head back. Well, you see, Cloud here used to be a soldier. He was? Did you go fight in the war? I might have. Leave this to me. I don't think so. So long. Stay back. So long. I'm gonna grow up to be a soldier over. like you. You can't just grow up to be a soldier. 
You gotta work at it. Cloud thinks I'm good enough to be one, right? <sighs> Look at you, Mr. Popular. That was so cool, you guys. Especially that... Oh, yeah! Yeah, it was really cool and you went like... Yeah! Yeah! You've got it all wrong. Like that. No way. It was way faster than that. Yeah! Yeah! Like that! Fine. Then how about... Yeah? Yeah! Ha! Ha! Like that! Isn't that right, Cloud? Isn't that right, Cloud? Tifa? What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain. I see. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. Pretty damn similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Who knows? Come to think. <laughs> the reunion. <laughs> Nothing to fear. <laughs> You don't know who Sephiroth is, do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. Well, then you must be from the legendary... The legendary... My dad told me that that man, he used to be a soldier when he was younger. Hey Cloud, I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry, I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. Is that a Moogle? You can see me, Koopa? Then you two must be very, very special people. In that case, welcome to the Moogle Emporium. I'm the owner, Moggy. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. Mog wanted to bring happiness to all the Moogles of the forest, so he decided to open a shop of wonders. That's right, Koopa. I open a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see Moogles. Uh, are you talking about me? Well, Moogle magic isn't perfect, Koopa. 
Anyway, we've collected all kinds of rare and wondrous goods. They can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals. But you'll need to buy a membership first. If you find any Moogle medals, you can spend them here, Koopa. So, Moggy, what do you do with the medals we give you? Well, you know what? I use them to make everyone happy. That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course, just like Mog the Moogle. I see you're working hard, Mr. Merc. Yep. So what are you gonna do next? Keep on working hard. As you always do, I'm sure. You know, this is how I earn a living. Huh? Really? I thought you were just doing it for fun. I suppose some people do. Hello, I'm some people. Nice to meet you. See anything you like? Which means I can bring happiness to a ton of people. Good for you. Hey, Cloud. Maybe say it like you mean it? Not until I'm happy. Go on, work your magic. Make me smile. From ear to ear. I'll need a lot more medals, Koopo. Well, that won't do. Come on, Cloud. Let's go get more. Good luck, guys. Good to see you, Koopo. is yours, Koopa. The wishes of every single person in the swamps. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgard love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the swamps, Koopa. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. That's one way of doing it, Koopa. And I've got extra happiness for you two. So, what's to stop us from selling directly to these... collectors? Uh... Moogle Magic Koopa? Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Thanks, you guys! By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place. Former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. 
I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. You see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. Aerith, you're back! Come, look what we've done with the flowers! Lovely, don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking towards your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. Huh? All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to get rough! Stay that! That's it! Sorry. So long. Don't leave us alone! Yeah! No. <laughs> okay then. So, you had enough yet? No. I don't believe that I have. <laughs> Can't. It's my job. Then think about changing. Back working out for you. Oh, better than expected. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Please, just leave us alone. You know I can't do that. <sighs> Hey there, partner. Uh, I'm wait, sure you're having the time of your uh, life, but we're needed on standby uh, for a job. It's something uh, about Sector 7. Uh, so get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. 
You know I can't do that. You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Uh... I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <sighs> hmm. Don't want to overstay my welcome. 